This video is brought to you from our friends at Goodwall. We're not ready for the next epidemic. There's no need to panic. We don't have to hoard cans of spaghetti or go down into the basement. But we need to get going because time is not on our side. But if I was to ask you the question, what is on your mind right now? What would you say? What would you write down? In fact, you can just share that with me if you want. What is on your mind right now? For a lot of people, I would imagine there is a fair degree of uncertainty. There's a fair degree of fear, anxiety. I mean, we're all different, right? But I don't think there has ever been a time where there has been as many people thinking about the same thing as they're thinking about right now. We predicted this a long time ago, and now it's the future. It has come to light that a lot of people are now waking up to some emotions that they have never experienced before or perhaps dealing with other individuals' emotions through this difficult time. You know, some people panic, and lots of people have been panicking, and we can understand why that is, because when we experience fear, we go into a survival mode. But the, the fact of the matter is, it's the fact that people tend to experience way too much fear, way too much stress, every single day. The majority of us are living in a state of perpetual stress. Whether we are separated from loved ones or alone in our home, it is important to know that there is always emotional support available 24 seven. This is a crucial time to reach out if you're having trouble finding those new coping skills or dealing with the fears and anxieties that come with coronavirus. We are all in this together. We need each other and human beings, and this is, I think, one of the unique opportunities that we all have right now, is to take the wisdom of the ages of people like Martin Luther King, who basically said this, the most important question, the number one question we should all be asking is what can we do for others? What can we do for others? I believe that your future and my future is unwritten. That's what I believe, right? And we have the ability to write our future. I know some people will be really challenged by that because of what's going on right now. I totally believe that even with all of this, there is still only one thing out there in the universe that is available to all of us, and that is possibilities. Once this blows over, what will you do? Is this maybe for some of you the change that you've been looking for? Is this going to be a defining moment in your life where you look for different things? See, in times like this, what a lot of people do is they start looking for opportunities. And they think there's possibilities that will come out of all of this, that the breaking down of certain systems means that we have the opportunity to create new systems. So I ask you, what would you like the legacy of this time to be? The key point there is you've got to enjoy what you do every day and for me it's working on new problems the most powerful thing that we can do right now is to ask ourselves a few questions what can i do what is in my control what is the difference that is going to make the difference when the dust settles and covid 19 goes the way of the bubonic plague there are some people who are going to walk out of their houses with better bodies than they had before the lockdown. There are going to be people who will walk out of their houses fluent in a language they didn't know. There are going to be people who will walk out of their houses being able to code better than before the lockdown. There are going to be people who will walk out of their houses with a book written. That's the reality. Being compassionate to others that may be feeling the COVID-19 stress is invaluable. A great way to help someone cope with that stress is to listen to them, acknowledge their emotions, validate the feelings they have, and let them know that they're not alone. 
And the greatest thing in life you can do is help others. And in order to help others, one of the best ways you can do that is help yourself. Make yourself physically stronger, mentally, emotionally. And again, that's not easy. But we were designed to work. We were designed to, to, to evolve. We have this ridiculous focus of attention on what is wrong, what is missing, what we haven't got. If you watch the news, of course that's all that it's about. There will be some happy stories to lighten people's moods. To consider limiting your exposure to the media, staying in touch with friends and neighbors through phone or email is still the best practice, and consultating with a trusted financial advisor before making any drastic decisions about finances would be highly recommended. During this time of social distancing and staying home, it is of the most importance to take care of your mental and physical health by being innovative with learning new ways and hobbies that can keep your mind busy while we wait this out. What can I learn? What can I get better at? What books can I read? What podcast can I listen to? How do I use this time to get better at my craft? That's the question. You may be neck deep in what seems to be a catastrophic storm of chaos, but I pray that in this moment, you will find the calm, the peace, the hope, the faith, the courage, the expectancy you need to live and not die, to move up and not stay where you are. That person's gonna be you. That person's gonna be me. We understand that lots of people are very lonely at this time. We understand how hard it can be to cure yourself from boredom and find new and healthy routines. We want people to know that safe distancing yourself from anyone saves lives. 2020? We don't need no damn refund. We're ready to win. And I just think that we all have an opportunity to look at life differently. We all have an opportunity to be different on the back of this. We all have an opportunity to look at the world with a fresh pair of eyes. I see a better day in front of us. I see more and more people coming together. I see more and more people waking up to what is really, really important. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. It's Gordon here from Motivation to Study, and I wanted to take a second to thank our great friends at Goodwall for partnering with us on this video. Goodwall is a next generation community for students and professionals to connect on shared interests, showcase themselves, and discover learning and earning opportunities. They want to help you get connected, discover opportunities, and achieve your goals. You get to create your own profile, showcase your achievements and skills, interact with other people who share the same interests as you, and even discover scholarships, courses, internships, and jobs. On Goodwall, you can build your personal profile to showcase your achievements, skills, and ideas, all in one place. It's basically your personal website that will help you stand out. Goodwall is great for finding inspiration by browsing your personalized feed based on your interests, and you can celebrate other people's achievements. It's a perfect platform to discover hand-picked opportunities from scholarships to internships and jobs. And join group chats for motivation and productivity tips. And just so we can get you started, join us on Goodwall's Study From Home Challenge. Sign up, create your profile, add us at Motivation to Study, and say hi. Then post a picture of yourself studying with the hashtag Study From Home so we can meet you. We'd love to interact with our audience on this awesome platform. So sign up from the link in the description below and start discovering your future.